Hey, Stefan. Hey, Sally. I need to update my calendar invite because it still links into the 2023 one. There's not very much on the agenda yet. Is there anything you wanted to add, Stefan? Um... Have a look. I just put the link in the chat if you want to add anything directly. Am I sharing the right one? I can't, I can't tell from looking at my screen what I'm sharing. <laughs> um, hey, Simon. Um, I'll give people a couple more minutes to join. Simon, was there anything you wanted to add to the agenda? It's pretty light at this stage. What about the storage improvements? That'd be good. I mean, it's uh, contributors, but um, they might still be interested. <laughs> the tree log storage improvements. Yeah, yeah save some space. Yeah. Yeah, there's already a wiki page, right, on that. Um... Maybe I'll put a link here. There we go. That one. Oh, yes. So that's going out in twenty four two zero, right? Ah, uh, well, we've effectively started, but anyway. Um, everyone on the call knows about the housekeeping. I won't go through that. Any general announcements? No. Um, I'll skip the roadmap review as well, I think. So the release updates, 2420. RC2 is burning in. Um, there haven't been any issues, I don't think. So I think we're looking at putting that out um, mid this week. And that includes um, the 
tree lug, lim limiting the tree lugs for bonsai, which gives you uses some storage improvements. Um, and there's a wiki page here about the sort of two parts to that. I know, Simon, do you want to talk through that at all for the benefit of the recording? Um, but uh, there's two parts to it. So there's a sub command, which gives you sort of an instant um, reduction in the storage on disk. And then there's an ongoing improvement as well. Um, but it's, it's all detailed in that wiki page there. Yeah. Oh, yes, now we can oh, hear you. <laughs> sorry, I must have been on me that whole time. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was just like, no. Um, uh, sorry, I was just saying, could you, um, I had agreed to talk about it, <laughs> which you didn't hear. And, oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you could just click that link. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Um, so, yes, yeah, so as you said, it's going into the 24.2.0 release. Um, and yeah, you were spot on as two main parts to it. Um, Effect, uh, so there's the flag, which is bonsai trilogs enabled, limit trilogs enabled, which is uh, effectively continuous pruning of trilogs. We retain by default the uh, the latest 512 blocks worth of trilogs. Um, and um, that's configurable. Um, that configuration might be more relevant for networks other than proof of stake. Um, for proof of stake, there's an additional check where we make we don't prune away the trilog if the block isn't finalized. So that can actually go beyond the 512 um, if you have a long period of not finality, for example. Um, and then, so that's the kind of continuous pruning. We're, we're planning to make this the default um, at least for staking configurations. I'm not quite sure how those defaults work in overall, but it will be the default going forward from the release after this one, if it all is well. So we'll remove the X um, to make it production ready and we'll make it default to true is the plan in the next release. Um, and the second piece to this is um, because Lots of people have been running nodes for a long time. We've got a one-off subcommand which will just prune the trilogs all in one go down to the 5.12 default or whatever you've configured. Um, and that that works in a few seconds. Uh, I think it's something like 30 seconds um, on a test that was with a user um, who had been running a mainnet node for... Uh, since the merge, basically, they haven't resynced base since the merge. So these trilogs have been building up uh, for what is that like? Whatever, uh, what year was the merge? <laughs> was it, was it last September? I think it was two Septembers ago. Yes. So, yeah, so, uh, you know, did uh, that much. Since that long, there's been about uh, this user had about 200 gigs worth of uh, trilogs, and so this prune command gets rid of those in a few seconds and gets them kind of minimally at 512 um, trilogs. Uh, so yeah, freed up 200 gigs for that user, so that was cool. So we can expect to see some some wins for some users with this uh, if they use the sub command. Otherwise, the continuous pruning just prunes away every time they start base, it prunes a bit more, um, but it doesn't attempt to do it during the course of running base because um, it only does it startup. So we didn't want to create a performance issue or, or complicated code path. Um, yeah, I'll stop there. I could go on, but there's more in the wiki. That's awesome. Thanks, Simon. Any questions or comments on that from anyone? Cool. Um, anything else on the release? 
I guess another thing that might be worth mentioning is some of the defaults are changing in um, 24.2.0 release. So NAP, I think, is going to be the default and Bonsai is going to be the default. Uh, which uh, both of those we've been recommending for some time to users, so but users have had to set those values rather than going with the default, so we're flipping it so that they will now be the default. Um, and there's obviously that's a breaking change if you want to continue to use what was the default, which um, is going to be no longer the default. So um, it's it's all sort of detailed in the change log, but if you want to keep using FastSync, for instance, you're going to have to explicitly use FastSync rather than just assuming that it's the default and same for forest um, storage mode. Um, but yeah, there'll be, when that release is announced, that will be sort of detailed in the release announcement as well. So hopefully we can do that without confusing users too much. Any questions on that? Um, any work updates that people want to talk about? Nope. Um, so other business, um, we had this long-standing um, item here to look at Circle CI credit usage and um, build times. So we've switched to GitHub Actions for our CI and I did check with Justin offline and I couldn't find it and he hasn't found it either, any sort of equivalent GitHub Actions type overview. So you can look at the build time for specific PR runs um, for the different jobs, but there's no sort of overview, you know, the last uh, build times for the last month look like this, um, which CI gives you in this insights page. So um, if we want to have some sort of regular check-in on that, we might have to do it manually or maybe we can be a bit smarter than manual about it, but um, there's no sort of out-of-the-box overview page. Um, it's about 15 to 20 minutes, I think, for the end-to-end. -end. Um, I put pre-checks here, but I think it's um, the pre-review. So when you put push up a PR, that's how long it takes initially. But the parallelization is pretty good. So um, I think there's still some improvements to that could be possibly made there, which would be nice, but that's what it is at the moment. Um, and then there's a point here about the version in Gradle.properties. So since we've changed the re release process, we don't need to use any more of the version number that's in Gradle.properties. But it might still be used for other things. Um, does anyone on the call have any insights on that? If not, maybe we need to ask this question async in the Discord contributors channel. Thumbs up. Go to Discord. Yeah. Okay, I will pose that question in the Discord channel. Is there anything else that people want to talk about or add to future topics? It's worth mentioning um, we've shifted to every month, uh, like monthly Calver. Oh, yes, good point. 
Yes. So, yeah, I think um, kind of tied in with the GitHub release changes, I guess, um, just in, uh, mentioned it on Discord at some point. Um, and so, yeah, I think that the potential impact that has is that we might just need to be a bit mindful of uh, breaking changes that we would have otherwise deferred to a quarterly. Um, yeah. And I think we've already mitigated that by including upcoming breaking changes in the change log and release notes. Um, need to be mindful that we still give you a sufficient notice for um, so I guess it, sorry. Yeah, was there anything else you wanted to add to that? So no, I guess if, you, if you've got like, I think an example when we discussed it before was like an API, a breaking API change. Um, maybe needed like three months notice, which would be like a quarterly. Um, so yeah, I guess if we just have that item in upcoming breaking changes in every release for three months, then that's probably sufficient, I think. I, I think, yeah, the, the notice probably depends on the severity of the the breaking change. But... Yeah. Anything else on that? No. Awesome. Well, I think we can call it there. And I will pose that question about the Great Order Properties version in Discord. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Sally. Bye. Bye. See you.